Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Shalom, shalom. So we're going to go to a quick little lesson real quick on 1 John, chapter 2, verse 4. We're going to get started. Hopefully this edifies the body. It says, He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. A lot of people say they know the Messiah, they believe in him and this and that, but are you keeping the commandments? Verse 5, but whoso keepeth his word, in him really is the love of God perfected, hereby know we that we are in him. Verse 6, he that saith he abideth in him, ought himself also to walk even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye have heard from the beginning. The, the old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which things is true in him and in you. Because the darkness is past and he and the true light now shining. He that saith he is in the light and had it as a lot brother is in darkness even until now he that loveth his brother abideth in the light and there is none occasion of stumbling in him but he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whether he goeth because that darkness has blinded his eyes so a lot of people got so much hate you know, for their own people that you know they just they blinded man they can't see the truth, you know. And that's because they got hate in their heart for their own people, you know. But they got reverence and high you know, respects and regards, you know, for the so-called white man who was Esau Eden. Alright. And they say, um, I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven. For his name's sakes, I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him. That is from the beginning, I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Little children, it is the last time, as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are they many Antichrists, wherefore by we know that it is the last time. They went out from among us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out, that they might be made manifest, that they were not all of us. So some of our brothers and people, you know, that's of the same stock. They're not really of us, though. You know, because they went out beside us. They say, we have an unction from the Holy One. I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because you know it and that no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar but he that denies that? And how is that? Is the Christ? He is Antichrist, and that denies the Father and the Son. Whosoever denies the Son, the same have not the Father, but he that acknowledgeth the Son has also the Father. Let that therefore, let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning, if that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye shall also, also, ye shall also continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he had promised to us, even, even unto Salakia. And this is the promise that he had promised us, even eternal life. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. Okay, but the 
anointing which you have received of him abided in you, and ye have not, so like it, and ye need not that any man teach you. So we don't need a man to teach us, okay? The Holy Spirit and the oxen is going to give us the understanding. But as the same anointing teaches you all of things, and it's true, and it's no lie, even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Alright, I'm going to end it right there. Call Halal, Abba Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rabbi Kakodash, Shalom. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Have a good day.